Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Broken Heart music video uh, for guitar. Uh, it's been a while. I am so sorry to like my two subscribers for being gone. <laughs> but uh, we're going to do another song now. Uh, it's going to be another Say We Can Fly just because I've been listening to them a lot. It's going to be Scars by Say We Can Fly if you didn't read the caption. But it's really simple. You'll need a capo. And let's dive right in. Okay, so it's going to be standard in standard tuning. Uh, and your capo is going to be all the way to the 6th fret on here, just like this. You're going to be looking for that sound kind of... My guitar is old, excuse it. Uh, and you're, there's only going to be a few simple notes. You're going to do a regular F. Just like that. You're going on F, your ring finger is going to go on the D of the 3rd. Your middle finger is going to go on the G of the 2nd fret. And your index is going to go on the B of the first. That's your F. And you're going to move up to a C, a regular C, which you just move these two fingers up. And this index bars the bottom two. And you're also going to do a regular G like this. Your thumb bars the top two, and your index bars the bottom two. You could do a G7. Sounds the same, it's just transition will be harder. And then you can go, we're gonna go to an A minor. Which is just like an A, except your middle finger is on the D of the second, and on the your ring is on the G of the second, and on the first fret, you're gonna have your index on the B. And now each of these, uh, this whole song is categorized by uh, we're gonna call them phrases for now. A musical phrase on the guitar of the strumming and down. That's gonna be your basic strumming throughout the entire thing. Now the chorus gets a little different, but if you hold that, uh, it will it will sound a lot like it. Now, who just um uh just do that. That phrase right there, that'll count as one. So in the intro, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do two phrases per chord. That's gonna be our our entire switch. So it's gonna start with F on the intro. It's gonna end on the upstroke because that next down of the phrase is gonna be a C. So we're gonna go F. Gonna transition all the way from that another phrase for C to G. Okay, so we'll start with the F again. G. And after G, you're gonna go to A minor. Okay, so we'll start at F. again. Okay? So, A minor. F. And now after F, it's going to change a little. You're going to go G and quickly to C. So you're going to go. So we're going to start that beginning F. I'm going to take it real slow for you. This is the intro. your intro and you can eventually move it up to tempo we I won't right now we will later uh, after that C you're gonna do it just a few more times so C we're gonna go like that that's what your C is gonna be and then you're gonna switch into the first verse and the first verse is the same as the second verse which is different words it all equals up to the same thing so uh, when you the verse starts with those scars in your wrist, you're going to go those That's going to be it. You're going to do one phrase for every E note compared to the intro, which was two, so. 
Like that, it's gonna be strumming. Switch, switch, switch. Okay? And now your pattern is gonna be F to G to C to A minor. And then you're gonna go to F, G, C. So every verse is broken down to four lines. The first and third are F, G, C, A minor, and the first and second lines are F, G, C. Okay? And when the, of course the last C is gonna be carried on for a little bit longer. Okay, so we're gonna start with that F. The scars on your wrist are the mark of the world. My bad. Try that again. The scars on your wrist are the mark of the world. And immediately, you're gonna go to that F. An ocean that's left so torn. Try that again, okay? The scars on your wrist. Next line. He's gonna go, but remember, we'll do this one slower. But remember the G and C A minor. The same one as when And see, right before that chorus, what I just did there, I did one more phrase. Just like that, and then you're going to fade into the chorus. So that was verse 1, and verse 2 is exactly the same. Chorus is the same as the second chorus, okay? So we're going to do the chorus now. And now the chorus, its notes are different. It's broken up, and uh, every line is either F and C, or G and A minor, or G by itself for once. So it's going to start with how confused you must be. So how confused you must be. My strumming here. How confused. Okay. So how confused you must be. So when you hear that last accent over there, that's when you'll switch. Okay. Finding love. On love, you're gonna switch to G. Love in the blood that you bleed. Okay? So if you notice on like the, the second or third word into it, it will be the first note, and the very last word on that line will be the next note. And so next is but the truth, which will be F and C again. Okay, so but the truth is that I see. Ironically, you're going to play C when he says C. So that's a good indication where if you're right or not. Now, on this one, it's the only time it does this. It does it once in, in both choruses. It's when he says, why you say that's hard to be me, he just plays G. He doesn't do A minor. So why you say that it's hard to be me. We all F make mistakes, which is C. It's not you, and we're going to G again, but this world you should A minor. On hate, you go to A minor. And now when he goes, you're as beautiful as you were yesterday, it's going to slow down, okay? You're, gonna sl you're as beautiful as you were. You're going to stop yesterday, okay? Or you get that C once and you let it hold. You let it ring until it gets to his little whistling instrumental part. Okay? So let's do the chorus again. So start with F. Remember it's F and C. G, F, C, G, F, C. Y you get it. Um, so here we go. How confused you must be.
not you, but this world you should hate. You're as beautiful as you were yesterday. Good job. All right, now uh, that is your intro, verses, and chorus. Now there is the instrumental and outro, which is actually the instrumental is exactly like the like the intro. The instrumental is exactly like the intro, so it's gonna g uh, go again. Go. And you're gonna hold C until it starts back up and go to the next verse, which is gonna start on F. There you go. Those tears in your eyes. All right, so. I'll talk you through uh, the intro all the way to the instrumental. So let's start the intro with F. One, two, three. Yesterday. There you go. See, now that is everything you need to know. Now, uh, okay, the only thing you need to know about the outro is as long as you keep that rhythm you got right. It starts on an A minor, so it would keep that rhythm. And it will end on a C. So your outro will be more A minor starts. That's how you will end. You will start, it doesn't really matter as long as you hit the A minor in the beginning and end with that C. There's no, I couldn't find any written form for the outro, so that's why I came up with. Start with A minor, end with C. And that's all you really need to know. Alright, th thank you guys so much for watching again. Uh, this has just been the third video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below uh, if you want a full complete playthrough with music from now on at the end. I will try to give you that. Just please request that. And I'm sorry I just ran out of time today. I'm sorry to run out of storage. I will see you again on another video.